Closed captioning for this program is brought to you by Lone Wolf, your silent partner. Whitetail Properties is a team of land specialists spread across the country, specializing in selling hunting and farmland. We do more than just sell land. We show you the way to grow, hold, and manage for mature whitetails. These are time-tested and proven tactics that can only be learned from years of experience and the shared knowledge of an entire team amassing hundreds of thousands of hours in the field each season. It all begins at the turn of the year when the antlers drop. Then comes getting the groceries in the ground. Time spent in the field scouting year-round is key to learning the land. With the turn of the leaves comes the harvest of the crops. This is when the Whitetail Properties team spends countless days in the field and all the hard work pays off in big ways. All of this is to help you turn your dreams into reality. Whitetail Properties, your hunting and farmland specialists. This week, we travel to the Lone Star State, more specifically Live Oak County, located in South Texas. Here, we join Whitetail Properties Texas Land Specialists, Blake Farah and Joey Bellington, as they meet up with their good friend and Texas A&M alum, Brett Anderson, owner of the JHA Ranch. Texas is well known for longhorns, football, stars, cactuses, and, of course, giant brush country whitetails. But what we sometimes fail to realize is that the pinnacle of whitetail management lies in this great state. Controlled deer herds, balanced habitat, supplemental feeding, strict breeding programs, and why cull bucks with inferior genetics are taken out every year have helped these high fence facilities flourish for years when it comes to growing big bucks. And we're about to see what this hype is all about or as they say, why everything's bigger in Texas. Shoot some guns. Well, we got the rifle sighted in, and we're going to head back to the lodge, check card, and get ready for the morning. After running a couple of Winchester rounds through the guns in order to prove their guns were shooting true, Joey and Blake headed out into the brush country on a scouting mission to pull a couple of Reconyx cameras and glass the Senderos looking for management hit list bucks. Now on the JHA ranch, these guys take deer management very seriously. Joey and Blake are looking for cull bucks, which by JHA standards are four years old or older bucks that have nine points of less as a general rule. Now, back at the lodge, Joey and the guys confirmed that they have, in fact, found the bucks they were looking for from the JHA management hit list. The buck I had my eye on is a buck Brett calls Double Throat Patch. This buck is a five-year-old 10 that will score in the 150s. So if Brett gives me the green light, I will not hesitate. Next up is a buck called Ocho. Now, this buck is a classic South Texas coal, four-year-old eight, sporting less than impressive headgear. These are the two bucks Joey and I will be targeting. So, with great anticipation, the guys turn in for the long night. With thoughts of the brush country bucks fresh in their minds, the morning cannot come soon enough for first up Texas land specialist, Joey Bellington. This morning we're after a, a real nice mature South Texas deer. We're calling them double throat patch because it's got two white patches on the throat and it's a nice 10 point with dark horns and uh, got some real nice long G3, so we're excited to see him this morning. We have lots of deer already feeding down the Sendero when I catch movement in the brush to my left. Come on, baby. There he is on the left side. That's double throw patch. Is that him? It's
You did yes, good. Sir. Now that was simply awesome. When Brett told me that Double Throat Patch was on the hit list, I was very excited to say the least. But on the first morning, on 1800 acres, come on. There he is, right there. There he is. Yes, sir. Way to go, buddy. Good job. Oh, man. Let's go get him. This was the one that we were after, so it, it really was just perfect. Brett does a great job of managing uh, this property down here in Live Oak County. And uh, when you own property and you manage it well in South Texas, this is the kind of results you can get. Whitetail Properties is brought to you in part by Bear Archery, Tanks, Reconyx, Whitetail Institute, Scentlock, Big and J, Hunter Safety System, Winchester, and by the Quality Deer Management Association. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Why do I use Trophy Ridge equipment? Why do I hunt with Trophy Ridge? This is why. This is why. This is why. This is why I trust. This is why I trust. I trust. I trust. I trust. This is why I trust Trophy Ridge. This is why I trust. This is why I trust Trophy Ridge equipment. Precision is in their blood. Want to attract more deer and grow trophy bucks on your property? Well, here's a news flash. You don't have to spend big bucks to learn how. We're the Whitetail Institute of North America. We've spent decades researching and developing products specifically for whitetail deer. Call us today and we'll send you seven Imperial Whitetail seed packets and a free copy of our Producing Trophy Whitetails DVD. All you pay is $9.95 shipping and handling. The Whitetail Institute of North America. Research equals results. built to perform. Attractors are only as good as the distance deer can smell them. Big and J is the first long range attractant. It's powerful and intense get noticed aroma draws deer from far and wide. Once they arrive, deer can't get enough of Big and J's protein based nutrient packed moisture tolerant formula. Attract more deer from further away with Big and J. Available in granular BB squared, the cube, or double X corn enhancer. Big and J. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Welcome back to Whitetail Properties Television. This portion of the show is brought to you by Realtree.com, the premier online hunting resource. With the first South Texas buck on the ground, Texas land specialist Blake Farah heads to a blind later that very day with another JHA hit lister on his mind, the King Crapper known as Ocho. Once Joey killed out, I was up to bat with a Texas buck tag burning a hole in my pocket. We were setting ready in a box blind overlooking a feeder where I spotted what appeared to be a mature buck lumbering down the old Sendero. There's two of them coming. Much bigger. I can just tell from here. Oh, yeah. Yup, we're two for two today on JHA's hit listers. This is the buck we have Reconyx pictures of, the Locho. No question, this buck is a shooter, and I just have to close the deal.
Okay, so it looks like Joey and I have in fact gone back to back on the same day on the hit list bus we were after. I waited until Joey showed up before I put my tag on the cold buck named Ocho. There's the white belly. That's what I'm talking about. Love to see that white belly. Oh yeah, this is great. What a great, great eight point this is. Good man, man, here on the JHA ranch, four and a half year old, great eight point. He's got a little bit of a G4 coming off there, but great mature deer to take out here. On the same evening, Blake killed Ocho. We're hunting does only because Brett and his guide are with Blake and Wes. And wouldn't you know it, what appears to me to be a call buck based on what Brett has shared with me about his management program, steps out and rolls right by the blind at 40 yards. So I'm texting Brett trying to get the green light, which ultimately he gave me, but it was too late. So I did the next best thing. I shot a little old doe for the can cooker. Meanwhile, in a blind on the other side of the ranch, Wes and Brett are hunting cull bucks, but without any buck encounters, Wes decides to add to the doe management total. Wes and Brett, with their doe already loaded onto the meat wagon, arrive to pick up Paul and Skinner with the doe that he shot. Now Paul has a name for these yearling does. Well, I'll, I'll just let him explain. I can get it. Here's how I like to explain what a, when I call a doe a can cooker, you have to be able to do this with her. Okay? In order to be a can cooker, you have to be able to pick her up with both feet like this and put her on. If you can't, then it's not a can cooker. Then that's a big old mama doe. Skin, we need one of these for the F-150. This portion of Whitetail Properties Television has been brought to you by Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, a quick, convenient, and healthy way to cater to your crowd. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. After 40 years of success bringing bucks in, Tinks is now making sure they don't even know you're there. Tinks BTEC Scent Elimination System seeks and destroys the very odors that alert game. This isn't just talk. This is science at work. Over one million hunters rely on Scentlock to get close and go undetected. We measure our success by the memories you make. Carbon Alloy is making you and Scentlock the deadliest combination. Bang, stump blinds do not disappoint. Proven, set safe, 360 degree design. Silent swing vertical split windows designed for minimal air travel. From permanent skyscrapers to mobility made to fit any situation. Strong enough for gun hunters. Stealth enough for bow hunters. Backed by a bold five year hold up to any weather warranty. Get a stump. Get a stump. Get a stump. Get a stump. And hear the thump. That bottle of Tink's Magnetics hanging under your stand is 40 years of science formulated directly at triggering his curiosity, instinct to fight, and to breed. And it's not a matter of if he'll come, but a matter of when. This portion of Whitetail Properties TV is brought to you by the non-typical wildlife solutions hot zone deer exclosure system, the best dual perimeter fence on the market. So the next morning, Paul and Skin have the head wheel in charge with them. They're back in the same blind as last night with the hope that the buck they passed will be back or any other mature cull buck for that matter. All right, now we're set. We got Brett with us and this time, if a good cull buck steps out, it's game over. Brett has a particular cull, a four-year-old nine that's at the top of his management hit list. And he told me this buck often uses this area in the morning. We have a streak going of these hit listers. Can we keep it up? Yep, because he's standing right there. There's a deer. Where at? Over there on the edge of the brush. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the buck. That is. Yeah, that's the nine point. You gotta love South Texas. The first deer of the morning is that nine that Brett told me about. He wants this deer taken off the ranch, and you know what? I'm more than happy to help. He's at 200 yards, which is a layup with the old Winchester 308 ballistic silver tips. Now all I have to do is wait for him to finish working the scrape, get broadside, then we're gonna serve him up a little Winchester sandwich for breakfast. The four-year-old, he's the one we've been looking for. Oh yeah, that's cool. I love him when we're gonna scrape like that. Yeah. All right, Nick, if he turns broadside, we're gonna smoke him. Hey! 
Take yeah. the night. Dude, how cool was that? Okay, seriously, I'm a fan of deer management, but what these guys can do on these South Texas ranches like JHA is crazy. Brett has these bucks patterned down to a T. Now, I know not everyone is a fan of high fence hunting, but I gotta tell you, it is way fun, especially management hunts like this one. That is a big bodied Live Oak County, South Texas call buck right there. Man, I just think it's so cool when they come in and they work a scrape like that. Chock a horn, he's a nine point. And you know, this buck here is the quintessential, the perfect cull buck to shoot based on the, you know, the management plan that they have, that Brett has here on the ranch. You know, so the good news is this buck won't be breeding any other does, but I gotta be honest with you, shooting him was just as fun as a, you know, a big old tall rack one, and I'll come back and do it whenever I can. And I gotta thank Joey and Blake for hooking us up with Brett because it was an awesome morning, cool buck. I couldn't be happier to put my tag on this South Texas buck. We hunted one more morning before heading back to Illinois. And although I did not connect with that cull buck that I wanted to shoot, we did add to the doe management total. Brett's goal was to kill 15 more does on the ranch. So myself, Blake, and Paul heated the call by putting one doe each on the ground. That was a great way to end a great hunt here in Live Oak County. Now, I'll be back next year, and I've also invited Brett to come hunt with me up in Illinois. Now let's join the Whitetail Properties team of land specialists as we break down the hunt. Brought to you by Boss Buck Non-Typical Feeders. Now you're getting serious. The JHA Ranch, found in Live Oak County, Texas, located in the north central portion of the legendary region known as South Texas, which extends south all the way down to the Mexican border to the west and to the Gulf Coast to the east. So here's a fact for you. Texas land is 95% privately owned and statewide there are 28 million acres under a written wildlife management plan. Texans pride themselves on being good stewards of the land and the natural wildlife resources. This 1800 acre ranch is a perfect example of a high fence ranch found in South Texas that operates under a written wildlife management plan. We like to think that in South Texas, we manage these ranches at the highest level in order to grow world-class whitetails and a healthy deer herd. The three core principles of high fence deer management are an annual supplemental feeding program, breeding, and herd management. Now I could go on for hours about all the options available to Texas landowners, but these are the three most common principles that every South Texas management plan is built upon. Today, we are going to focus on herd management. Okay, so we're going to focus on herd management because that's what we're doing on the JHA Ranch. Herd management consists of shooting a set number of does based on the carrying capacity and the culling of mature bucks with inferior genetics. Each manager may have a different idea of exactly what kind of bucks they want taken out of the herd. But the general guidelines consist of age, antler size, score, or genetic defect. Now I know not everyone agrees with the effectiveness of culling bucks, but there's one thing for sure, a dead buck can't breed. And I have to admit, it has to be the most fun part of deer management. So this was my first time in South Texas, so I wasn't sure what to totally expect as I'm not familiar hunting on a high fence ranch. We were thinning the herd by shooting management bucks, but make no mistake, the JHA, like much of South Texas, have giant whitetails. Not many people have the opportunity to ever see bucks of this caliber. And I have to say that seeing some of these brush country monsters is something I won't soon forget. It was cool to see how management practice I'm not familiar with produce such awesome results. Okay, so just because you're on a high fence ranch doesn't mean you're gonna walk out and shoot the buck that you want, even if you're hunting management bucks like I was. Now, I know the boys made it look easy, but the reality is, although the ranch may have a fence around it, it's still South Texas brush country hunting. I hunted hard for several days and couldn't connect with the buck that I was after. Okay, so just like the calling of bucks, not everyone agrees with or even likes high fence hunting, but in Texas, this is a tool that a lot of landowners have utilized to intensely manage the wildlife resources. You know, it's a way of life down here, and the good news is, if you wanna hunt on or buy a high fence ranch to manage the deer herd at the highest level, that opportunity is available. Or, if you're simply looking for the free range experience, that's great too. I guess what I'm trying to get at, guys, is there's all kinds of options out there for guys just like me and you who love to hunt and manage the coolest animal on the planet, the white-tailed deer. I am proud to announce that Whitetail Properties is now serving Texas. It's our mission and our goal to help people find the best hunting 
and ranch land in the Lone Star State. Blake and I were both born and raised in this great state of Texas. Very early in our lives, all the way through school at Texas A&M, we had the opportunity of hunting and working the land together. That became our passion and has led us to our dream of helping others reach their goals of being Texas landowners. We know this country, we love Texas, and we cannot be more excited to be working in the land business in our home state of Texas. Well, there you have it. We took a close look at a small part of what makes South Texas so special and unique in the whitetail world. Please stay tuned. After the break, we're going to show you a couple of ranches that are for sale right here in the Lone Star State. This portion of Whitetail Properties Television has been brought to you by Brunton, the real deal. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's not just the size of your trophy that counts, it's how fast they drop. Dropped in 40 yards. 70 yards. Dropped in 100 yards. Dropped him in 80 yards. 25 yards. Dropped him in his tracks. No matter which rocket broadhead you hunt with, they're all critters slaying blood paven machines. Watch Rocket Broadheads in action at rocketbroadheads.com. Winchester Turkey Loads, trusted by generations of hunters. Quality. Consistency. Tight patterns. Extreme knockdown power. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Welcome back to Whitetail Properties Television. This portion of the show is brought to you by Yo Buddy 3D Portable Targets. The party is over. Now it's time to hunt. This 184-acre premier whitetail facility, located in Van Zant County, Texas, is surrounded by 8-foot galvanized high fencing with the goal of producing monster whitetails by providing a supplemental feed program and enhanced genetics. The moment you drive through the gated entrance, you know the entire property has been meticulously maintained as you arrive at the fabulous custom-built 4,114 square foot lodge with four bedrooms and five baths overlooking a six acre stocked lake. The deer breeding facility and pens are in excellent condition and have been designed for easy herd management. Along with an 1800 square foot guest house, you will find a spacious workshop and storage space for all equipment and ranch vehicles. If you are looking for a completely turnkey hunting and recreational retreat, contact land specialist Joey Bellington to set up a private showing. Located in Fayette County, Texas, this 233 acres entire perimeter is lined with 10 foot tall galvanized high fencing. The breeding pens are built with the same high quality materials, allowing for easy management and herd separation for breeding purposes. A pond and pump house services all water troughs and irrigation throughout the deer breeding facility. Dense hardwoods and thick cover combined with strategic lanes and clearings cut throughout the property that creates ideal scenarios for increased food plot production. The property has been heavily managed for the past decade to produce superior white-tailed deer through breeding and feeding programs. A large storage barn at the entrance provides covered storage for farming implements, desired vehicles, or ATVs along with a shipping container for on-site feed, equipment, and everything else needed to maintain and improve this wildlife refuge. Contact land specialist Joey Bellington to set up a private showing. This 145 acres located in Fayette County, Texas can very easily be described with one word, unique, as the sun creeps over the majestic live oak trees, revealing stunning views of the Colorado River Valley there are multiple cleared peaks, offering fabulous building sites for the home of your dreams. The infrastructure is already in place, including power, new fencing, two pole barns, and fantastic interior roads throughout the property. The property has rarely been hunted, offering minimal intrusion over the past 10 years. There are endless opportunities to create great food plots along with native vegetation and underbrush, providing great cover for the whitetails on this property. Rarely do I say you have to see to appreciate a track like this, but seeing is believing. Contact land specialist Pollard Gallup 
for a private showing. These featured property listings have been brought to you by Montana Decoys. We hope you've enjoyed our show this week, and we sure hope you tune in next week. But until then, a special thanks goes out to Brett Anderson, owner and operator of JHA Hunting Ranch in South Texas. Brett's tremendous knowledge and expertise of deer breeding and giant whitetails makes JHA Ranch a superior place to enjoy a hunt of a lifetime. So if you find yourself in the market for that perfect property in the future, make sure the Lone Star State is on your list. Whitetail Properties has been brought to you in part by Bear Archery, Rocket Broadheads, Blue Ridge Log Cabins, Whitetail Institute, Trophy Ridge, Banks Blinds, Hunter Safety System, Winchester, and by the Quality Deer Management Association. Additional support was provided by these fine companies. All maps for the show are provided by Huntera. Until next week, take a moment to check out the Whitetail Properties webpage.